What's going on gamers? Today, let's go over how to set up add-ons on a Minecraft Bedrock server. Customizing your Minecraft Bedrock experience allows for many new features and tools to use in the world. This involves using behavior packs, which are add-ons that are installed into your world files. These are similar to mods or plugins on a Java server. Whether you're wanting new mob heads or custom game modes, using behavior packs provides you with a ton of options, so let's go over how to set it up. Like I said, there are countless features from behavior packs that you can implement into your server, but finding them can be harder than finding data packs or resource packs. The best area to look is on CurseForge since they have a wide variety of add-ons to check out. There are, of course, other websites online that are directly from a behavior pack developer for you to download, but make sure to keep internet safety in mind as you explore them. Once you found some, make sure to save the MC pack or MC add-on files to your computer, and then we can get started. The first thing you'll want to do is download your world, but to do this, we recommend using an external FTP program like FileZilla. This is going to allow you to obtain any file type despite its size from your server directories. Head towards your Apex server panel, make sure to note your world's name, and then click FTP file access near the top left. Open your external FTP program and use this information to log in. And after that, click quick connect or a similar button to make the connection. When you see all of the files, if you have a server profile enabled, press on the right one, and then you can find and click on the worlds directory. And once you're there, right click on your worlds folder and press the download button. Wait for this to finish and then remember the folder's location on your computer for later. This process differs depending on the FTP program used for it since each one is unique, but in most cases, right clicking the files will allow you to download them. After downloading your world, it's going to have to be installed on your local save files so behavior packs can become activated. Open your file explorer that allows you to navigate through files on your computer and then enter into app data and then follow this directory, starting with local, packages, microsoft.minecraft, local state, games, com.mojang, and Minecraft worlds. Once you're here, you can drag and drop your downloaded world here. After that, launch Minecraft Bedrock and check for your server's map in single player. Now make sure you have any downloaded MC pack or MC add-on files on hand. And while having the Bedrock client open, double click your downloaded pack files. Wait for this to import into your game and then press play from the main menu. And from here, find your server world in the world section and click the edit icon to the right. Scroll down on the left hand side of your screen and enter behavior packs or resource packs. And then press my packs and choose your desired add-ons and click the activate button. Once all of your packs are enabled, they'll be viewable from the active list. Now the exporting process for your server's world from single player requires you to install a zipping program. This is used to transform the MC world file type into a zip format, allowing you to upload it onto the panel. We strongly recommend using WinRAR or 7-Zip as these are entirely safe and secure. Find your server world in the world section of Bedrock and then click its edit icon. And from here, scroll down and select the export world option to initiate the process. In the newly opened window, save this MC world file somewhere easily accessible and then use your zipping program to zip the file. When the behavior pack is activated for your world, it'll need to be uploaded on the server through your external FTP program. Additionally, this will be unzipped through the panel so its contents can load properly. Enter your saved FTP information into your installed program and then connect again. And afterwards, find and click on the worlds directory in the file list. Once you're there, drag and drop your zipped world into this area and wait for it to finish. Once this is done, head into your server panel and log into the FTP area, and then enter your worlds directory and check mark the uploaded zip and press unzip in the top right. Confirm this by clicking submit on the next page and then wait for everything to finish. And if it's done successfully, you'll see the folder of your behavior pack world. With your behavior pack world uploaded in the server, you're going to have to activate it through the panel. Return to the main server panel and scroll down until you see the world section. And once that's found, press the change world button and enter your uploaded maps name. Continue to click change world one more time to confirm the changes, and then press restart now in the next prompt to start loading the world. 
Now, before we get into some common issues, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our future videos. If you can't find the world in the Bedrock client, after uploading the server's world files into your local game files, make sure to restart the client if you already had it open. On rare occasions, the world might be uploaded into the wrong directory or it isn't valid to load. Double check you transferred this into the Minecraft worlds area on your computer. If you can't activate your new world, make sure you've assigned a different name compared to the old counterpart. This is required since you'll be entering this new one into your world section of the panel so it can load. Also remember the map must be in a folder and not in a zip file. Only use the zipping function to upload and then unzip it from the panel. As you can tell, it is quite the process to get add-ons onto your Bedrock server. So I recommend finding all of the ones you want first and then doing it all at the same time so you only have to go through the process once. But when that's done, you'll have everything you need and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.